everybody, welcome to the Waldock Way. I'm Jessica, and today is day five of our back to school week, which means unfortunately it is coming to a close. Before we start with today's video, I just wanted to say thank you so much for being here. I hope you have enjoyed seeing a sneak peek of what the 2020 2021 school year is going to hold for us. I have enjoyed being able to share everything we have planned for the upcoming school year, and I have also really enjoyed being able to do a giveaway every day to give back to the community that I love so very much. If you have enjoyed what you've seen, make sure that you are subscribed so that you don't miss any future videos and the things where I'll be sharing even more of our 2021 school year. Today's video is going to be our read alouds for the upcoming year. Now we will obviously be reading a ton more than what I'm going to be showing you, but I really, really wanted to have some family read alouds this year. We didn't do as many of them as I would have liked last year and even the year before that. When Emily was in pre-K and kindergarten, we really made sure that we were reading together as a family, even with my husband. And for some reason, that kind of fell by the wayside the last few years. And I want to get back to that. My all-time favorite read aloud is the BFG because it gave us a family culture and some funny inside jokes like we still call cucumbers snoozecumbers because of that book. Um, and it just, it just the way it made us feel was just so awesome. And I want to have more of that. So what I did is we, well, we as a family sat down and we selected 12 read aloud books that we were going to read together as a family. That's one book a month. That way we're not feeling rushed or like we have to get through a certain amount. It gives us just a little bit. We also picked books that were series. So if we absolutely fall in love with the characters and the setting and the plot, there's more for us to read. And we're going to be voting on which book we'll read next. So while we have the 12 selected, there's no specific order in which we're going to be reading them. We'll read through one and then we'll sit down and vote on which book we want to read next. And we may even go further into the series we finished. So we will not necessarily finish all 12 of these books, but it was a really good place for us to start at least. We also tried to pick books with a few things in mind. First of which being that they were a series. And then we also tried to pick a good array of, um, books that have movies or TV shows made, you know, that they were made into. And we also picked a few books that even have the Celebrate a Book Guide from my really good friend, Mary Hannah Wilson, because these guides include projects and crafts and then like a book club party celebration. So that way it gave us something really fun to look like a fun thing to look forward to at the end. So when we finish reading the book, we can have this big family celebration with this book club or by watching the movie. So I'm just going to go ahead and jump in and show you the 12 books. We have My Side of the Mountain, The Indian in the Cupboard, Misty of Chico Teague, The Vanderbeekers of 141st Street, The Secret Zoo, Escape from Mr. Limoncello's Library, the Big House, sorry, The Little House in the Big Woods. The Magic Misfits. Arusha and the End of Time. Artemis Fowl. The One and Only Ivan. And The Green Ember. Now, if you're planning to read The Green Ember this year, I just wanted to let you know that Celebrate a Book has a free guide to go along with this one. So I will leave the link to the description in the description box down below to it. If you're going to read it, make sure you grab that free guide because it will give you a ton of wonderful things to go along with this book and make this even more fun, whether you do it with the entire family or even um, some friends and families in a co-op and make it like this big book club thing. So if this is a book you're planning to read, make sure you grab that. You're not going to want to miss it. Now, I would absolutely love if you would leave in the comments down below which of these is your favorite and a few of the books that you're planning to read aloud in the upcoming school year because I'm always looking for more books to add to my shelf. Today's giveaway is for three Celebrate a Book Guides of the Winner's Choice. To be eligible to win, you must be a subscriber, like this video, and leave a comment. 